From the Opupco Studios at Britain and Broadway, this is OU Basketball with David Ubbin. I'm Jenny Carlson. David, a clunker of a game over the weekend for Oklahoma. They go to VCU and lose and really weren't in the game much in the second half, down by double digits throughout much of that half. What went wrong at VCU? Well, uh, VCU really got off to a hot start, hit a lot of threes early, hit, I think it six of their first nine threes. And on the road with a young team, playing at a, at a school that really – loves basketball and, and, and lives for the game. I mean, they're playing in a packed house. Team starts shooting that well. It's tough to rebound from that. And they got down early. They started not hitting shots. Um, really just never made the run that they were going to need to make to get into that game. Yeah. What about uh, this next stop for the Sooners? They now go to Anchorage. They're actually en route this morning, Monday morning, on a long flight to Anchorage. What about this tournament? Is this a good fit for this team? And uh, what, do, what do we think we might learn from this tournament about OU? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, the Thanksgiving weekend is always a, a good weekend for, uh, for, for preseason tournaments in college basketball. You get a lot of good play, some good tournaments in, in Florida. And then Puerto Rico had a good tournament this last week. But Alaska is a little, uh, I don't know why exactly or how they exactly they ended up out there. It's, it's not a, a tournament that's, that's doing well. They only got six teams out there this year. They usually get eight. Not a great TV contract. There's nothing national for this tournament. Not real good competition. You know, they're going to be playing San Diego, Houston. Not, not teams that, uh, that they're going to be really tested against. Although, you know, granted, considering what happened this weekend, they may not want a major test right <laughs> away. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tournament that's uh, not, the, not the greatest place to go if you're going to spend um, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I, I feel like maybe they'd be better suited somewhere else. But, yeah. um, you know, we'll see. They're going to get to play, play some games. And, you know, uh, I think they've got a pretty good shot of winning that tournament. After the loss to VCU and headed to the other side of the world to play in this Anchorage tournament, yeah. are there any bright spots for this team right now? Is there anything that you feel like is positive as the Sooners move forward in this uh, season? Well, the most consistent young guy has just been Tiny Gallon. You know, he had 15 points, 11 rebounds again on Saturday. He's averaging a double-double. He's really played well. Um, he's, I, I thought when he coming into this season he might be a little bit of a project. He might be a little bit of the guy that they couldn't really count on to be consistent. But he's shown that, that, that you know, he's going to be that, that rebounding force in the middle. And, you know, he's, not a, he's not a Blake Griffin where he's going to you know, throw you know, 25 and 15 every time he steps on the floor. But he is a guy that, that they're going to be able to count on, not necessarily for, for scoring when they need it, but scoring on some consistent basis. And then rebounding, definitely, uh, he's shown that he's going to be a force in the paint and possibly blossom into a great player. All right. Thanks, David. Stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.